Hello there fellow open world gamers, we've got quite an extensive update about Just Cause 3 today. Hey guys, what's up, it's Robbie with Open World Games and a ton of new screenshots released for the game recently and I thought, hey, this definitely warrants an update. I'm going to include any past screenshots that you may have missed later in the videos, plus we got more details about the open world as well. It looks fantastic guys this game is shaping up to be something quite amazing so i'm very excited so we'll get straight into the screenshots right now the first one is awesome it's our first appearance of the brand new wingsuit again think far cry force wingsuit these things are becoming extremely popular in open world gaming and for good reason now what you'll be able to do in the game though is transition from your wingsuit to your parachute to your grappling hook all in one go and really stay in the air and traverse the environment in that manner and as you can see the environment reminds us a lot of forza horizon 2 which is awesome it is going to be a very vibrant colorful place you will want to stay there it's not going to be something that's brown dreary and boring so that's good news next up we've got a screenshot showing off rico and yes rico is returning in just cause 3 taking on the enemy with the help of the rebellions in the area now uh what's interesting about this is this could be a possible drop in the game where you can call it in from the black market and ask for help through the game or this could be a single player mission i'm not really sure but it really would be cool to get ai helpers uh with you as you take on missions so i would expect that to be in the game let's hope it is because i really do like it when you can call in support in that manner Take a look at this, Rico hijacking a jet, yes, hijacking a jet. In mid-air, this dude did not stand a chance against Rico. And as you can see, uh, the water looks absolutely amazing. And you can spot right down there a speedboat. So yes, speedboats will be returning as well. Moving on, this screenshot really reminds me of James Bond just because of the car. And as you can see, the tether returns. He has some barrels tethered up in the back. So this is going to be a lot of fun to experience in Just Cause 3. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do it with friends. I was really hoping we would have co-op in the game. But they will be allowing multiplayer mods to the PC version of Just Cause 3. And yes, the game is about chaos. You will be earning points by causing devastation and ruin and progressing in that manner than you could... Uh, call and supply drops and upgrade weapons in that way so chaos is going to be very important in this game so it's obvious the grappling hook returns and you can get up there in the skies and take over aerial vehicles like this poor helicopter this pilot does not stand a chance i really love just cause 2 and of course i'm really looking forward to this one just because of how over the top and insane it can get. So I'm really looking forward to getting up in the air and just throwing pilots from their seats. It's going to be so much fun. Here's Rico just surfing and playing. It's just something he does every single day. Again, it just shows the insanity that is Just Cause 3. And you can see the environment really does remind us of Forza Horizon 2, which I think is a great thing. It's going to be so vibrant and so colorful. And more on that in just a moment. As you can see, the detail in the explosions are incredible. And this was obviously a helicopter. As you can see, the remnants of a helicopter falling from the sky. Rico is ready to either get his wingsuit ready or his parachute. Which one he chooses is really up to you. So this game is going to give you a ton of options to traverse the lands. So the game takes place in the Mediterranean Think Monaco, that is awesome. Uh, some of the James Bond films have taken place in Monaco as well as Iron Man 2. If you remember Iron Man 2, it took place in Monaco and it also has the famous racetrack as well. But here's a concept art. This is really cool. They show a winding train. I'm really hoping that trains make a big appearance in the game. I really feel like some games really ignore trains, but I think it would be so cool to really see something where you could jump into the interiors, have the entire missions designed around them and as you can see they seem to stretch a long way around the environment and then we have Rico here taking on what appears to be some sort of beautiful castle like structure so this is the idea of the game's environment they really want you to feel like you are on vacation with explosions and in the distance we have pretty large ships so maybe they will be a bigger part of the game 
then you may think, think Uncharted 3's amazing ship scene, we are on next gen, I think it could be possible besides Avalanche Studios, they are brilliant at designing open world games, they have one of the best engines for it, so I really do hope that we see huge cruise liners that we can explore on the exterior and go inside. Also, the game is going to have five different distinct locations within the open world, and these are going to have their own color palettes and fills to them. They really describe them as having their own identity, so they really want you to feel like going through the open world. You are constantly exploring. That's one thing that I loved about Just Cause 2. They have two different types of coasts, one that is brutal with jagged rocks and deep sea cliffs, and the other very smooth and sandy, so just moving through the world, you will be experiencing brand new things, so a lot of beauty and then treacherous environments to expect in the game. Now, Just Cause is going to make a wonderful single-player game. I can't wait to hop into it. It's going to provide endless hours of fun, but a lot of you are probably wondering, where is the multiplayer? Well, it's not going to have multiplayer out of the gates. They have been asked about it time and time again. They will be allowing PC modding again, so that's good news for PC players, but for those of us stuck on consoles, it's not really good news. It doesn't change anything. However, in an interview with Game Informer, uh, Christopher Sonberg uh, goes on to say that uh, they would really like to support the game post-launch. They may consider adding an update uh, for multiplayer, which would be awesome. If they manage to get some sort of co-op in the open world, at least, I'm not talking about PvP at first, I'm talking about full-on co-op, I would be thrilled if they did that. They did uh, stuff like that for GTA 5, of course. Uh, with, we're seeing heist being added later down the road. So maybe, just maybe, if, as long as we support the game and we love the game, which I'm sure we will, it's Just Cause, uh, they will add multiplayer. So one detail you may have missed about Just Cause 3 is the destruction. Think Battlefield 4 or the Frostbite engine, of course. Uh, they want you to be able to knock down bridges, take down buildings, and of course in Just Cause 2 there was a ton of destruction, but it is returning in a big, big way. So I'm really curious to see what they're doing here. If you're going to be knocking down gigantic skyscrapers, I'm not too sure, but look forward to destruction returning in a big way in Just Cause 3. So there you guys have it, Just Cause 3. I can't wait for this game. It's rumored to be coming out fall 2015. So I'm really excited for more news. A trailer is incoming any day now. That's what I understand. Early 2015 was the estimate. It is early 2015. So hopefully we see something soon. I'm going to take a guess and it's going to be this February because March is going to be crowded uh, with a ton of announcements during that time. So subscribe right here to Open World Games to stay updated on Just Cause 3 and more Open World Gaming goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.